Hi, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with a Veteran. I'm your host, Dave Rogers. Uh, sorry I'm late today, uh, some issues going on, but uh, I'm on Zoom also with my friends, Jack and Tara. They're watching me and hoping that I make a mistake. I see Tara praying that I mess up. <laughs> Shame on Tara. <laughs> yeah, so she, so she can haunt me about it later. Today, I'm making a apricot brandy based chicken. This is a dish that I learned some many years ago in France. Uh, they would take the apricots and some fresh herbs and they would stuff it in the chicken and you know include brandy on there and they would cook it up and it just tastes so good. Uh, what I've been doing is I've been soaking my uh, apricots in my brandy I actually just got an apricot flavored brandy, so it adds a little more apricot flavor. But you can use whatever brandy that you want. Um, I put some a little bit of brown sugar, and I put some a little bit of honey and a cinnamon stick, and I'm letting that cook up. And on the other side here, I have my chicken, and I'm gonna get my chicken going. So I'm gonna use a pie pan for this, um, because what I wanna do here is I want to really engulf my chicken uh, in the apricots. So I'm going to take my chicken, which has been brining in the water, salt water. I am going to carefully, with my finger, not a knife, I'm going to separate the skin on the top from the chicken. Okay? Because while I'm going to stuff, remember I talked to you about this before, you know, if you put all the seasoning on top of the skin, that's where the seasoning is, on top of the skin. Um, but if you separate the skin from the chicken, then you can get the seasoning onto the meat itself. And that really brings the flavor in. All right, so I'm gonna use my uh, brush. I'm gonna take some of this melted butter that I have that has some herbs and seasoning Okay, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to rub that right onto the meat. It gets really all underneath there. Okay, just rub it underneath the meat. I'm also going to rub it on the outside. Okay, I do want the skin to have a nice flavor to it. Alright, so now my chicken is prepped up for my apricots, but I'm going to leave that for a moment. Is I'm going to make a little bit of a candy carrot to go with it. Okay, and I'm gonna use my tri-color carrots here. Mmm, those, those apricots smell really good right now. <laughs> I know, Jack, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to find an inventor to invent smell TV so people can smell when people do a cooking show. That would be so wonderful. <laughs> well, I can't, I don't, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure about the tasting part, but uh, we could probably get the smelling, <laughs> you know. I'm, I'm sure there's a way to get like a smell kind of television. And the apricots are really, really cooking along. And I didn't buy canned apricots. I got fresh apricots. Um, to me, they're so much better uh, when you use the fresh fruit. I'm not going to use a lot of carrot. I want just a little bit of carrot in there. Okay. So I got my carrot in there. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add a little bit of brown sugar to that. I'm going to pour a little bit of honey. Yeah, I used a lot of honey the last time, Jack. You know, you can also... Well, I mean, I did use honey last time. Um... But you can, you know, I, I've seen people use like maple syrup for their uh, candy stuff. You know, you could do that also. I like a little bit of, you know, just raw honey. All right. So I'm moving the carrots around to the side. And I'm going to place the chicken right in the middle of where the carrots are. All right, so I got my candy carrots around my chicken. I've got my uh, chicken that's all buttered up. It's all seasoned up. 
No, I didn't. I'm, I'm cooking the whole chicken. Um, yeah, this is a whole chicken cook. Like I said, I just, I lifted the skin up from the chicken um, because what I want to do, my apricots are ready. They've been, they've been cooking. They smell great. Okay, they're nice and tender. And you want them kind of tender. And I'm gonna have to be careful with these because obviously they're hot. So I'm gonna take my, my tongues. I'm gonna lift the skin and I'm gonna place apricot under the skin. And that's gonna create a flavor both in the skin and on the chicken. And so I got some apricot on the skin. So what I got here, my fresh herbs. I have a little sage, a little rosemary, a little thyme. I'm gonna take a small piece of the rosemary. I'm gonna stick that underneath the skin there and some sage. Tara's correcting me on my English as I'm cooking. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put in a little more apricot on top there. Now I'm gonna take my herbs and I'm gonna stuff some of this into the bird. Just right in the bird. And then on top of that, I'm going to place Right in the bird, I'm just going to place some more apricots. So now I got apricots on the outside, on the skin. I got brandy infused apricots on the inside. And that's really going to bring that flavor all throughout the chicken. Tara's starting to come here and steal my chicken. All right, I'm going to place a little bit of apricot around the chicken. And I'm going to take the cinnamon stick and I'm actually gonna take the cinnamon stick and, and kind of shove it a little bit inside of the chicken. And that is apricot infused baked chicken with some candy carrots. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 375. I'm gonna stick this in the oven and I'm gonna let it cook for about 45 minutes. Then I'm gonna cover it with some aluminum foil and I'm going to let it cook for about another 45 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed joining me on another live episode of Cooking with a Veteran. With our apricot brandy and uh, infused chicken. If you enjoy our show, make sure you like and share the link below. And as always, if there's something you'd like to see me cook, go ahead and reach out to me. And until next time, hoorah!